Covina is a small city in Los Angeles County, California, about 22 miles east of downtown Los Angeles, in the San Gabriel Valley region. The population was 47,796 at the 2010 census, up from 46,837 at the 2000 census. The city's slogan, One Mile Square and All There, was coined when the incorporated area of the city was only one square mile. Covina is often confused with West Covina, which is actually larger in both area and population, located to its south and west side. Irwindale lies to the west, as well as the unincorporated area of Vincent and the city of Baldwin Park, Azusa and Glendora to the north, the unincorporated community of Charter Oak to the northeast, San Dimas to the east the unincorporated areas of Ramona and Via Verde, and the city of Pomona to the southeast. History Present-day Covina was originally within the homelands of the indigenous Tongva people for 5,000 to 8,000 years. In the 18th century it became part of Rancho La Puente in Alta California, a 1770s Spanish colonial and 1842 Mexican land grants. The city was of Covina founded in 1882 by Joseph Swift Phillips, on a 2,000-acre tract that was purchased from the holdings of John Edward Hollenbeck, one of the 1842 grantees of Rancho La Puente. In 1875 Hollenbeck had purchased a failed coffee plantation from three Costa Rican brothers, Pedro Maria Badilla, Julian Badilla and Pedro Antonio Badilla, the latter who purchased it from the heirs of Hollenbeck's 1842 co-grantee, John A. Rowland. The city of Covina was named by a young engineer, Frederick Eaton, who was hired by Phillips to survey the area. Impressed by the way in which the valleys of the adjacent San Gabriel Mountains formed a natural cove around the vineyards that had been planted by the region's earlier pioneers, Eaton merged the words cove and vine, and in 1885 created the name Covina for the new township. The city was incorporated in 1901, the town site being bounded by Puente Street on the south, First Avenue on the east, the alley north of College Street on the north, and Fourth Avenue on the west. The city's slogan, One Mile Square and All There, was coined by Mrs. F. E. Wilfarth, the winner of a 1922 slogan contest sponsored by the Chamber of Commerce, when the incorporated area of the city was only one square mile, making it the smallest city and area in the country. It would be orange and grapefruit groves, not vineyards, that would soon blanket the city and make it famous. By 1909, the city was the third largest orange producer in the world, and it still claimed to have the best oranges in the world as late as the 1950s. Since World War II, however, the orange groves have been largely replaced by single-family and multiple-family dwellings. The Covina Valley Historical Society maintains an extensive archive illustrating the city's history in the 1911 built Firehouse Jail Museum. Covina's first municipal building, located immediately behind City Hall in Covina's Old Town, currently, Covina claims to have the largest movie multiplex in Los Angeles County. Opened in 1997, the Covina AMC30 located at Arrow Highway and Azusa Avenue is one of the busiest theaters in the United States. The movie theater was built on the site of a former Sears building. It has been a sister city of Zalapa, Mexico, since 1964, a replica of a giant stone old mech head, located in a place of honor in beautiful Park Zalapa, was given to the city in 1989 by the state of Veracruz, Mexico. According to the placard placed below the head, it was originally excavated from San Lorenzo de Tenochtitlan. The statue was recently moved from its location in front of the police department to Jalapa Park in the southeast portion of the city. 
During the election held March 6, 2007, nine candidates ran for two of the five positions on the city council. The voters then rejected the 10-year renewal of a 6% utility users tax the city has had since 1999. Only 3,797 ballots were cast out of 21,633 registered voters. The utility users' tax was subsequently renewed at the June 3, 2008, election which attracted 5,032 voters. 2008 marks both the opening as well as charter season of the Covina Center for the Performing Arts, a newly remodeled multi-million dollar theatrical venue in downtown Covina. 2008 Massacre On December 24, 2008, a shooting and arson occurred in Covina, in which a man, Bruce Jeffrey Pardo, dressed in a Santa Claus costume entered a Christmas party at his ex-wife's residence and proceeded to open fire. After the shootings, Pardo unwrapped a Christmas package containing a homemade flamethrower and used it to spray racing fuel gasoline to set the home ablaze. Nine people were killed during the massacre. After the attack, Pardo put on his street clothes and drove his rental car to his brother's house in Silmea, approximately 30 miles away from the crime scene, where he was later found dead from a self-inflicted gunshot wound. Geography Covina is located at 34 degrees 5 minutes 30 seconds north 117 degrees 52 minutes 45 seconds west 34.09167 degrees north 117.87917 degrees west 34.09167 minus 117.87917 no freeways pass through the city limits, although it is centered in the midst of Interstate 210 to the north, Interstate 10 to the south, Interstate 605 to the west, and the State Route 57 to the east. The Southern Pacific Railroad, which reached Covina in 1884, and the Metrolink San Bernardino line pass through the city just north of the downtown area. The town is located at the foot of the San Gabriel Mountains in the San Gabriel Valley. According to the United States Census Bureau, the city has a total area of 7.0 square miles. 7.0 square miles of it is land and 0.22% of it is water. Climate this region experiences warm, hot and dry summers. According to the Köppen climate classification system, Kavana has a hot summer Mediterranean climate, abbreviated CSA, on climate maps. Demographics 2010 The 2010 United States Census reported that Kavana had a population of 47,796. The population density was 6,788.3 people per square mile. The racial makeup of Kavina was 27,937 white, 2013 African American, 532 Native American, 5,684 Asian, 104 Pacific Islander, 9,230 from other races, and 2,296 from two or more races. Hispanic or Latino of any race were 25,030 persons. The census reported that 47,361 people lived in households, 68 lived in non-institutionalized group quarters, and 367 were institutionalized. There were 15,855 households, out of which 6,396 had children under the age of 18 living in them. 7,931 were opposite-sex married couples living together. 2,815 had a female householder with no husband present. 1,072 had a male householder with no wife present. There were 978 unmarried opposite-sex partnerships, and 94 same-sex married couples or partnerships. 3,153 households were made up of individuals and 1,179 had someone living there alone who was 65 years of age or older. The average household size was 2.99. 
there were 11,818 families, the average family size was 3.43. The population was spread out with 11,896 people under the age of 18, 5,043 people aged 18 to 24, 13,113 people aged 25 to 44. 12,174 people aged 45 to 64, and 5,570 people who were 65 years of age or older. The median age was 35.7 years. For every 100 females there were 93.3 males. For every 100 females age 18 and over, there were 89.5 males. There were 16,576 housing units at an average density of 2,354.2 per square mile, of which 9,256 were owner-occupied, and 6,599 were occupied by renters. The homeowner vacancy rate was 1.1%, the rental vacancy rate was 6.4%. 28,707 people lived in owner-occupied housing units and 18,654 people lived in rental housing units. According to the 2010 United States Census, Kavanaugh had a median household income of $66,726, with 11.3% of the population living below the federal poverty line. An additional 31,072 residents live in zip codes associated with Kavanaugh but outside the city limits, making the total Kavanaugh area population 78,868 at the time of the 2010 census. 2000 as of the census of 2000, there were 46,837 people, 15,971 households, and 11,754 families residing in the city. The population density was 6,723.7 inhabitants per square mile. There were 16,364 housing units at an average density of 2,349.1 per square mile. The racial makeup of the city was 62.10% white, 5.03% black or African American, 0.90% Native American, 9.82% Asian, 0.21% Pacific Islander, 17.18% from other races, and 4.78% from two or more races. 40.29% of the population were Hispanic or Latino of any race. There were 15,971 households out of which 38.4% had children under the age of 18 living with them, 51.6% were married couples living together, 16.3% had a female householder with no husband present, and 26.4% were non-families. 20.8% of all households were made up of individuals and 7.7% had someone living there alone who was 65 years of age or older. The average household size was 2.89 and the average family size was 3.36. In the city the population was spread out with 28.1% under the age of 18, 9.5% from 18 to 24, 31.1% from 25 to 44, 20.4% from 45 to 64, and 10.9% who were 65 years of age or older. The median age was 34 years. For every 100 females there were 92.0 males. For every 100 females age 18 and over, there were 87.0 males. The median income for a household in the city was $48,474, and the median income for a family was $55,111. Males had a median income of $40,687 versus $32,329 for females. The per capita income for the city was $20,231.
About 8.9% of families and 11.6% of the population were below the poverty line, including 15.4% of those under age 18 and 6.9% of those age 65 or over. An additional 30,000 residents live in unincorporated areas of the three zip codes associated with Kavana but outside the city limits, making the total Kavina area population 76,400 17. Government and Infrastructure Local government in Kavina is run by an elected city council through their hired city manager. Kavina residents are represented at large, currently by the following elected officials. Mayor Peggy Delich, Mayor Pro Tem John King, Council Member George Marquez, Council Member Kevin Stapleton, and Council Member Walter Allen III. In the California State Legislature, Covina is in the 22nd Senate District, represented by Democrat Ed Hernandez, and in the 48th Assembly District, represented by Democrat Roger Hernandez. In the United States House of Representatives, Covina is in California's 32nd Congressional District, represented by Democrat Grace Napolitano. Covinians who access county health services may use the Pomona Health Center in Pomona or the Monrovia Health Center in Monrovia, both operated by the Los Angeles County Department of Health Services. Economy Top employers According to the city's 2009 comprehensive annual financial report, the top employers in the city are Appearances in Fiction Kavina is the fictional setting for the Harold Teen comic strip and 1934 movie that depicted several teenagers from Kavina High School. A downtown Kavina malt shop was named the Sugar Bowl, imitating the after-school gathering place in the comic strip. Movie, TV locations, scenes from several movies were filmed in Kavina, including the television series Roswell was filmed in various locations in Covina including the downtown area on North Citrus Avenue, City Hall, Charter Oak High School and several other businesses and residences served as locations for the fictional version of the town of Roswell, Nanometer. Multiple episodes of the hit television series Knight Rider were filmed in downtown Old Covina, including an episode coincidentally shot at night's photo studio on Citrus, where David Hasselhoff greeted fans and passed out signed photographs. One of the ending shots of the movie Frailty was filmed on Center Street, off of Hollenbeck. The Bohemian Rhapsody scene from the film Wayne's World was filmed on Citrus Avenue, in downtown Covina, although some external shots were filmed in other locations. The Grey Pope on scene from Wayne's World was shot on Citrus Avenue. Kavana Hobby was visible in the background. Having two cars side by side reflects that the main drag was four lanes. The cruising portion of hometown USA was filmed on Citrus Avenue. The interior of Kavana Public Library served as the Baltimore County Public Library for the 2004 television movie Back When We Were Grown Ups. An episode of Tabitha's Salon Takeover was filmed in downtown Old Covina at Tantrum on Citrus Avenue. The theater in downtown Covina, the library and neighborhood streets around downtown were used in the filming of High School USA, a movie starring Michael J. Fox and Nancy McKeon in 1983. Small independent film Small Time starring Christopher Maloney and Bridget Monaghan was filmed at Clipping a Chevrolet San Bernardino Road and Citrus Avenue in downtown Covina. Notable people Lacey Baker, professional skateboarder who attended Northview High School. Rick Baker, seven-time Academy Award-winning makeup artist. His films include American Werewolf in London, Edward, Men in Black and the Wolf Man, Irma Blanco, L.A., radio personality resided in Covina, Tom Brunanski, Major League Baseball player and coach who was born in Covina. He played from 1985 to 2000 for the New York Mets, Minnesota Twins, Boston Red Sox, and Chicago Cubs. He was an American League All-Star in 1985 with Minnesota and a member of the 1987 World Series champion Twins. 
Jack Clark, Major League Baseball player, graduated from Gladstone High School in Covina in 1973. He played for the San Francisco Giants, St. Louis Cardinals, New York Yankees, San Diego Padres and Boston Red Sox from 1975 to 1992. He hit 267 with 340 home runs for his MLB career, played in the 1985 World Series and was a four-time MLB All-Star. Art Clokey, creator of Gumby. Clokey and his wife, Ruth, invented Gumby in the early 1950s at their Kavanaugh home shortly after Art had finished film school at USC. Casey Daly, American football player. William Raymond Deverell, Wonderland gang member killed in the 1981 Wonderland murders is buried at Forest Lawn Memorial Parks and Mortuaries. Donald W. Evans, Jr., SP4, United States Army medic born in Covina, awarded the United States military's highest decoration the Medal of Honor for his bravery in the Vietnam War. He was also awarded the Purple Heart. Donna Fargo, country singer who taught English at Northview High School in the 1960s and 1970s. Lillian Keel, decorated World War II and Korean War flight nurse. Hussein Mohammed Farah, son of Mohammed Farah aided and former president of Somalia, graduated from Kavanaugh High School. Jason David Frank, who has played Tommy Oliver in the Power Rangers series. Roy Harris, composer, grew up on a strawberry farm in Covina and attended Covina High School. Ward Kimball, one of the original Disney animators and leader of the Dixieland band Firehouse 5 Plus 2, was a member of the Covina High School class of 1929. Robert Knapp, actor, lived in Covina in his teenage years and worked in the Orange Groves. Bob Lorenz, anchor and studio host New York Yankees TV Network, previously sports anchor and studio host for CNN, CNN SI and Turner Sports. Mike Lynn, former NBA player who played for the Los Angeles Lakers. Jeremy Miller, TV comedy Growing Pains, was born and raised in Covina. Corey Nakatani, jockey, was born and raised in Covina. Vince Neal and Tommy Lee of Motley Crue met while attending Royal Oak High School in Covina. Tommy Lee did not graduate. Neal has a son who also grew up in Covina. Alice Hyla Ramsey, died in Covina, first woman to drive across America from coast to coast. On June 9, 1909, the 22-year-old housewife and mother from Hackensack, New Jersey completed the 3,800 miles from Manhattan, New York to San Francisco, California in a Maxwell. She was accompanied on her 59-day trek by three female companions, none of whom could drive a car. Gary Rainick, born in Covina, former Major League Baseball outfielder for the Montreal Expos, Baltimore Orioles, New York Yankees and Atlanta Braves. In his 12-year MLB career, he hit 247 with 121 home runs. Ron Rainick, born in Covina, former Major League Baseball player and manager. Willie Shoemaker, Hall of Fame jockey, went to Covina High School. John Stafford, Pulitzer Prize-winning novelist and short story writer. Rob Wilfong, Major League Baseball player, graduated from Northview HS in 1971. He played for the Minnesota Twins, California Angels and the San Francisco Giants from 1977 to 1987. He batted 248 for his career with 39 home runs. Chris Woodward, Major League Baseball player who was born in Covina and attended Northview High School. He played from for the Toronto Blue Jays, New York Mets, Atlanta Braves, Boston Red Sox and Seattle Mariners. Ellen Beach Yore, internationally famous coloratura soprano during the late 19th and early to mid-20th century. She toured the world singing opera for over 40 years and chose to retire in Covina. A street in Covina is named for her. Michael Young, Major League Baseball infielder who was born in Covina, seven-time All-Star selection with the Texas Rangers.
2005 American League Batting Champion, 2006 MLB All-Star Game MVP, and a Gold Glove Award winner in 2008.